Okay. Working in a nursery, caring for other people's young children, she should have been the embodiment of trustworthy. But Vanessa George broke that trust in the worst possible way. The 39-year-old sexually abused the toddlers in her care, as well as taking and distributing indecent photos of them. Help the families who are right there now, stressed, worried, concerned for their children. In these police tapes released earlier this month, George refused to name her victims. Please help us and tell us who you took pictures of. Vanessa, please. For them. As a mother, you'd want to know. Don't you care? No comment. But now police say she's starting to identify them. Senior detectives are examining the claims. They also have the difficult task of informing the families of the children affected. So how, how many pictures do you think you've taken? Well, probably lots. How many's lots? I wouldn't honestly say, but it was... 100? 200? I don't know. It wasn't 200. It wasn't 200, OK. Are there any children you haven't taken a picture of? There's a few of them, yeah. I just do, just used to take, like, just, not all of them, no. Not all of them? No. George is due to be sentenced at Bristol Crown Court on November the 13th. She met her co-defendants, Colin Blanchard from Rochdale and Angela Allen from Nottingham, on the social networking site Facebook. They then began exchanging messages and images via mobile phones and emails, the two women apparently competing for Blanchard's attention. But police still don't know how they found each other. The scene of their crimes was here, Little Ted's Nursery in Plymouth. The abuse began in September last year. The trio were arrested in June. During police interviews, George admitted her crimes were disgusting and vile, but until now she's refused pleas from desperate parents and her own estranged family to identify the children she abused. Earlier this month, a child expert said because of the age of the victims, they should recover and grow up unscarred by the ordeal. Small comfort, though, for the families who now wait to hear if their child was among those who suffered at George's hands.